this sign basically says, this volcano is active. If it starts to blow up, please leave immediately. Keeping tabs on it. There's a whole country out there of underexplored little nooks and crannies across all of Japan. I've got a JR East Pass here to hit up all six prefectures of Tohoku, up in the north. This is Akita Prefecture and this is my Akita dog. I call her Sally. We came here looking for wilderness, and I think this is it. This is the ground zero of Japanese wilderness. It's raining, but it just doesn't matter at all. We're going through these deep hills, and there's all this mist pouring down the sides, and uh, it feels like I'm in the middle of some kind of Japanese fairy tale. It's, it's just crazy good. There's a railway track that runs down here. It's abandoned and there's a local business that rent out these bikes that are kind of attached to like these railway wheels so you can ride the length of the railway track. You kind of expect that you've got to steer, but you can't because it's all fixed and you're on a railway line so there's no steering. So I feel like I'm being taken for a ride. Absolutely magical. I reckon this is one of my favorite things I've done in Japan. So this is the local delicacy in Akita uh, Prefecture. After a long bike ride in the rain, I'm really excited about a bowl of hot soup. Oh, it smells so good. Just tear it up, rice on a stick. So this is the original dish of Akita. Apparently the idea of this meal was that it was portable. So hunters and people looking for wood going up into the mountain could take this with them and then heat it up and throw in vegetables that they found along the way. And this is what they got. There's just nothing processed about this meal. The whole thing is just fresh meat and vegetables. It's just like straight from the farm into this bowl. Yum, it is so good. It's so good. So this restaurant has been in your family since 1945. Your mother cooked that dish that we just had. Did her mother cook that dish? I feel lucky that I've been able to taste this, this piece of history, your, your family's history. I'd like to just say, thanks for the delicious soup. It really was delicious. We just got into Yamagata. To arrive at this village called Zao, you can probably see behind me, it's a bit of a ski resort vibe. People who aren't doing that just sit in onsens. We're not here for either of those. We're here to go climbing. So let's go find a mountain and get on top of it. So we're doing this thing where we try to hit up six prefectures in six days. But uh, by coming to this mountain, Mount Zhao, we're actually getting a two for the price of one deal because it's basically right in the middle of Yamagata and Miyagi. Both get to claim this baby. We just hiked up Mount Zhao. It's otherworldly up here. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's windy, it's wild. According to that sign over there, it's potentially explosive. And all of these words describe my experience of traveling around Tohoku six prefectures. We've met locals, eaten oysters, I've sat in an onsen, I went bike riding with a toy dog, I paddled down a river and there was a guy singing. It's just been amazing. And now I'm gonna go down and drink a